What's going on guys? This is Mast and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we are not doing the A to Z. We're still going to be doing the A to Z. We're taking not really a break, but I'm trying to like mix in some other stuff. In the meantime, not fully commit to it quite as much and just get a good balance. Get out of the way. Uh, we're doing something a little bit cheesy right now. Hebo solo, not remotely good. He gets, he gets bullied super hard right now. Back in the past, he's actually been potentially fine. It's Guan. Damn it, man. I was so hopeful that it might be a Maui and it might be a Guan support instead. This lane should be painful. What's he? He's building kind of cringe. Actually, this isn't too cringe. As long as it's not a Genji's rush, I'm OK with it. And honestly, I should respect him for not going a Genji's rush, especially. Oh, wait, no, no, no. He's going. He's going hoops. I still hate him. Um, <laughs> I just realized that is not mana core spikes. That is that is going to be the stupid hoop things. And I hate those two. Whoopsies. Didn't didn't process that. We're building a little cheesy right now, man. We're going. Um, Come here. <laughs> uh, we're going, I, I want to say Sacrificial, which is not the name of this, but eventually we're going Sacrificial. We're going Vamp Shroud, that's what it's called. We probably get ganked. Juan is awful low, I figured we could be uh, a little greedy. Oh, we're not getting ganked, wow. I'm surprised, this poor guy, man. He's playing Guan Yu, so really you can't feel too bad. Because Guan's kind of the unfun god, at least in a lot of lanes. If you don't have CC for his three, then you just get dumpstered. And guess who doesn't CC his three? This guy. This guy doesn't CC his three, unless you want to count a slow, and that's not what I mean. Because he does have the knock of immune. So we don't get to interrupt it. That thing does 600 damage eventually while shredding prots. And then it has a low cooldown, and then he heals, and then he has a dash, and then his ult's really good. I don't know why he ran into that. Uh, okay. I, I like my minions too, Guan. <laughs> I like them. I like them too. Look at him go. Yeah, he got a little greedy with me right there, man. Look at that. The very rare, so rarely will you see me level this shit unless I am just terrified of dying and I desperately need to live. The incredibly rare level the two for the aggro Hebo early game. Because you don't tend to get to be too aggro on the Hebo early game, at least not anymore, man. Doesn't hit all that hard. People got a bunch of HP. This one does like 80 base. Yeah, it does, does so little base. The scaling's nutty. The base is kind of garbage. I'm assuming we do not get an invade blue buff. I don't think Rat's going to be here, but uh, can I? Thanks. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be there, but I think it's dumb as hell if I do it. Oh my god. Boys. Are they kind of beat they're kind of beating his ass though, so that makes it better. Yeah, they got double stunned and like he does not have an acorn, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like how do they I don't I don't know if I've ever seen Rat double stun without the stun upgrade on his acorn. So <laughs> that was like a moment right there. That was a first time, a rare smite first time for somebody that's played so long. Oh no, tell me he doesn't get all of these. Minions, do your job. Come on, a little bit more. Does he just miss one? I think he just misses the one. Damn it. So we're going to go back for Book of Thought soon. We're starting with Vamp. Vamp has been really bad for a while, but has gotten some buffs recently, and I think is actually incredibly fitting for the solo lane right now. Hebo is somebody that is going to abuse the shit out of Vamp, because what we're getting is flat sustain on abilities landed per, per minion hit. And hey, guess who chucks a bunch of stuff? It, it's Hebo, right? So... We're going to get a lot more potential vamp, and then we can eventually go sacrificial and probably just die to it. But <laughs> but maybe not. Maybe it'll actually be good. I'm pretty sure sacrificial will go terribly wrong. I am hoping that through lifesteal and, th and some other stuff that we can kind of make the uh, the health that we lose from casting abilities like not terrible. Because the damage amp is insane on Hebo, right? Getting 15%. Okay, you got to chill. You got to chill a little bit. I don't think we get to kill him. Like, I haven't ulted him yet because it does so little to his health bar right now. Yeah, I think we'll just leave. But, but he's got to chill a little bit, right? Tiny bit of respect for the Hebo early game, even though there's barely a Hebo early game. Like, the ult would have done a lot. I don't think it would have killed there. I could be wrong. Maybe I am stupid. I, I'm pretty sure we couldn't have killed him there. Yeah, he's got some defense going. So, yeah, with this right now, we get, um, if we hypothetically hit the whole way, which totally isn't going to normally happen, normally we'll, we'll hit like three minions, but we're getting 12 HP back for, for three minions, 24 for the whole wave, and then 18 mana for those three minions, and then we just keep doing that per ability, and then we also get life seal, and then eventually we're getting that big damage amp once we actually upgrade it. So, I think for sustain, this will be really good, and I think it's like an incredibly rare spot where it's worth building it right now, because normally in mid, vamp, vamp isn't good, it is part of the issue with the item. Is it's in this weird spot where guardians aren't building it in solo, 
because I res buffed the, the minion clear on Pendulum and, and more importantly on Conduit, which is what you actually see. So, so Guardians build that because they need wave clear. So even though Vamp would be nice, it doesn't boost their clear, that just boosts their sustain. So, so Hebo doesn't need clear, we need sustain, or we're doing the opposite thing. So, kind of a weird item for him, but I'm hoping it ends up to be, being cool. Other than that, things I want to do, I'm not totally sure how all we're going to do this. Ideally, I want to squeeze in a poly at some point. I thought it'd be fun. Um, ideally, I want to go Bancross Claw at some point. That might be next item. I don't know if we'd go with the Claw right away, but at least the Talon. Get some sustain going so that we can mitigate some of the Sacrificial Shroud HP loss in the late game. Yeah, I thought we'd try and do some just very high damage, see if we can get away with it Hebo Solo, and see if it's fun. Because Hebo Solo, I feel like, can be a really fun pick because he's so brawly. But... Where's my Guan? <laughs> I feel like I've legit been here a minute and he has just not returned. Guan, you, you good? Maybe you waited in base for uh for item or something. Eh. Give me that stink. Yeah, so now this lane gets cringe, right? Because this guy has 60 magic prod already at five minutes. Nice and balanced. Yeah, we actually do some damage. He just mostly heals through it. That's actually not too bad. We might be okay. Oh, we goofed that. Oh, he's goofing this. Come on, give me the dash. Come on, I can't ult that. We gotta be really careful with the ult, because I want to save it for rat ult if I can, and I really need to not int to his ult and or tower. Man. I got that, that was close to a kill. Oh, I want it. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get rat ulted so soon. We do have beads for it, too. That should make it a little less miserable. It's crazy that I get a beat up Guan, man. But normally that's because uh, I do get, you know, the whole downside of farmed by ganks. So, so that could end up being an issue. Might have to see if we can kill the Poseidon real quick. I should be able to one-shot him. Found a rat! Oh, I'm greedy. Oh, I'm so... He doesn't... Okay. Okay! I thought he might get a little aggro with me. Man, scared. Don't... Okay. Can you not ward? Guan! I gotta not miss the ult. Oh, here comes the rat ult. This is a big bait. Okay, got the damage. Got the... Hang on. Hang on, please. Got the guan. <laughs> That's kind of sad that, uh... Obviously, she doesn't know my one was up. It's too bad that, like, the moment... Can you not juke? It's a minion, man. It's juking harder than the gods. Yeah, it's too bad that the moment she ults, I kill him. And it was so close, too, because I was barely even in one range. Like, it's almost such a good Yamoja ult. And, the, and then I killed him that exact moment, and then it's like a complete waste. Unfortunate, man. So we're getting the Book of Thaw stacked up nice and quick. I think we really might just go in early poly. Oh, is there a point yet? There's not a point in lane. It's going to feel so bad. Oh, my. No, please. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to build so cringe. Oh, my God. Yeah, from here we just gotta leave it be. I, I am not rushing Pen just for just for dealing with the Guan. Yeah, I think we're going Bancrofts. Very soon he is definitely gonna be at a point where we do not get to hurt him. At least not in any meaningful way. Cause he's already mitigating. Hang on. Hang on. Give me the Okay. Yeah, he's already mitigating well over hundred percent of the damage. That's not how that works. Uh over <laughs> over fifty percent of the damage. I, I kind of, yeah, I did the math a little off. Eh. Anyways, I kind of touched on it in the beginning of the video. Um, I think for the, the foreseeable future, and then it'll probably just drop off as season 10 hits, I, I think we'll get way less A to Z when it comes out, which, unless I misunderstood, and I think everybody, unless everybody misunderstood what they revealed, I'm, I'm recording this live today. So, unless high res kind of misspoke, and they're talking about PTS, season 10 comes out on, I believe, January 24th which is like a week and a half, crazy soon. Uh, I had assumed it was going to come out early February, like early to mid-February. So yeah, very soon season 10 drop, unless that's just PTS, in which case it's probably two weeks after that or something. But it sounded like that was the actual like live servers that was going to go out, which means if there is going to be PTS, it might be soon, but they might, they might be kind of cheeky and do no PTS, which I think would be a little more hype, honestly. Probably a better idea. But with that, we're probably going to have a drop in the A to Z because I'm probably going to be messing a ton with the new season. It looks like we're going to have a lot of new content. Um, I absolutely love it. Not just for the purposes of like creating content. I love it when I get to mess with new shit and smite. 
Obviously, that's been like a pretty big part of the channel, right? So I'm gonna be really excited with that. There might, it, I might get ridiculous. There, like, there might even be like, what? Oh, do you just want this? There might even be like month no A to Z. Oh God, that was not the old. Be careful, left. <laughs> Somebody help me, please. Okay, we almost got a big wiggle, but it wasn't big enough. But Bancroft is absolutely putting in work. Oh my God, how is this actually a kill? Yeah, I choked that a little hard. I might have gotten a little ambitious there. You guys hear me button mashing right now? Okay, Bancroft is dumpstering, man. <laughs> right, we'll, do, we'll do a second game, man. What, what was that game? We just dumpstered way too hard. Hebo early game, absolutely popping. My God. I guess that that might be the build. I feel like I should have been dead as hell. Given they didn't quite respect it, Guan had no mana and ulted me in advance, and then Rat went in a little bit late to fully commit. But I just, like, wasn't dying there, and we straight up just ate four people. So that was cool. That was something. Yeah, let's go game two. Hopefully I can kind of vaguely remember what I was talking about when we get to game two. I don't know. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to part two. Um, this is literally just the next game, so I kind of remember what I was talking about. I really don't exactly remember what I was talking about. It's been like three minutes. That's all it takes. Goldfish memory. Uh, I think basically summing things up. Season 10 out soon. Very cool. A to Z take break. In meantime, do some, but not only. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that's mostly it. I, I think that's mostly it. We're going to have a lot more like regular just cheese exploring new stuff as the season comes out, playing gods that just aren't specifically in the list of who comes first in the alphabet, stuff like that, right? Um, we're going against basically the same guys. We're going against a different solo laner this time around, both in god and in player. So we'll have to see if we have trouble with the Arthur. I'm assuming we're going to get focused way harder this time because last time around didn't go so hot in the solo lane. And they were pissed at the Guan after. So, like, in the in the post game. So, I think they might end up doing a little Hebo solo focusing. He played this really weird. He does get the clear diff. But uh, he ate a ton of damage for it, which he didn't need to. Because he's just Arthur and he could have just won it. So, a little bit of a downside for him there. Alright, hopefully she doesn't yoink farm or fight. And she didn't yoink farm. And she didn't really fight, so we're good. Okay. Yeah, I was a little worried she'd get caught out there. Rat is hunting her down, though. Oh, that doesn't reach you. Damn it, man. Come here. Thank you. Do that. Wanted to knock him towards the minions. Would have been a little better. Yeah, we want to get one poke on him. We can. I was actually a little tempted this game since it's an Arthur to go TP because Arthur's going to be able to poke out a lot harder than Guan. With Guan, it's hard to be able to bully him um, because he can turn and burn with his three a lot. And we're able to just barely out out mobility. It's not really the best way to put it, but <laughs> but out mobility him is derp as it sounds. Be a little zoomier. With Arthur, that's not something we're going to be doing. He's more mobile than we are. Well, we did get some wiggles on him, though. Nice. Got good damage. The minions are absolutely putting in work here. That's what we want to do in this trade. Got a little more poke. That's all we're going to be able to reach. Hopefully, I didn't waste this health pot. This time, we're not getting the two. Because there's not really a point at the moment. Let's see if he'll eat this. Thank you. I eat a little, too, but I don't care so much. See, if she's down to go on him, he is a tower line, but, uh... Oh, Arthur. Or oh, you have can't wait. No, I can't be cringe. No, not like this, man. Not like, <laughs> not like this. <laughs> what happened, man? Oh, no, that's actually so unfortunate. I was so kind, too. I was so unbelievably kind. Oh, I Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't know if he uh, if he DC'd or, or what the hell happened. I don't know if he's coming back right now. Yeah, this game, today's video might be scuffed, boys. It's Worlds is happening. I don't have a time, ton of time to record. Um, I'm literally, even if this is a DC, I'm going to leave it in just for context so I don't have to reorganize things in my head of what I've said. And then if he stays DC, they'll F6 of 5 or 10 or whatever. And we'll do game three. <laughs> I really, I don't want to be recording this many games. I want to just have like a clean game, ideally, of course. But, but since I don't have as much time to record right now, we're going to, going to take what I can get, you know? It is what it is, because I really I want to try and like just absolutely watch literally all of Worlds and watch as much as I can live. And right now they're going to be starting a game of a set that I'm missing out on a little bit. So we'll see what happens with that. And I'm not even going to pause, man. I wonder, like, did he get pissed? <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't pause for him. There's no reason to think that he, uh, I guess it could have looked like a rage quit. 
if nobody's cute with him since he like died and then DC'd, but he just happened to die. Have to be terrible timing. Yeah, if he comes back, we're going to go similar build as to before. Because I don't know what he possibly could have said for them to be like, <laughs> for them to think that they should just wait this out. Not just maybe think it's a rage quit. I've been absolutely loving. I've watched uh, so far, like right now as I'm recording this, I believe the first two sets of worlds have occurred. Had the uh, both the EU SEC teams have gotten to play. And it's been a really cool world so far. I'm a little bit disappointed. I, I think it makes sense, but I'm a little bit disappointed that it's such a quick quarterfinal where like the placements have all happened in advance, right? And I feel like unless I'm misremembering things normally at Worlds, I believe placements also, at least some degree, happen at Worlds and you're getting more overall gameplay between all the teams, which can be cool. So I think it's a little bit disappointing to not have that, like all in the, all wrapped into the same package, basically. I'm assuming we don't get ourselves one shot here. Oh, he doesn't even seem to care. He's just temporary solo. But, but it's been good games for the, for the most part. I mean, not all, but definitely like I'd say like better than your average SPL set by far. Been really entertaining so far. And and no scuff, really. There's been a tiny baby bit a stream scuff. <laughs> I'm going to beat his. No, 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 no. Ju okay, ghost hit. Really? Really? <laughs> I'm assuming they're about to have six. Um, tiny bit of stream scuff, no game scuff, thank God. It'll be so tragic if they end up having any games crashing. I'm really hoping they don't. So on to game three we go. On to game three of Hebo Solo. Hopefully I can get solo, man. <laughs> why, do, why can't this video be easy? Why does it have to be so many games just to get like a proper video up? All right, boys, welcome back to part three. Oh, baby, welcome back to the mast tries to have fun and play some cheese impossible challenge edition, impossible edition for worlds. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it's been such a rough start to the day, man. I just want to watch my worlds, get a video, just do both. I can't. I can't possibly. They got to keep sending me back into here. Into, into these games, desperately hoping that we can get one that'll actually, like, not just be absurdly short in F6 as soon as physically possible. So, this time around, we're against a tier, I believe, I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's Maui sub-tier solo. Um, and, and it's Usano jungle, so we might get juggled around, like, something that gets juggled. Juggling, juggling ball, is that what you call a juggle? Like, uh, one of those little balls that gets juggled sometimes? A juggling pin, is that what you call a bowling pin that happens to be juggled? I don't know, but we might get a little bit juggled. Alright, we'll have to see if we get ganked here. Oh, I didn't reach that, damn it, man. Stupid Hebo one. Sometimes, sometimes it's so rough knowing, knowing exactly the range I got to get for it. Kind of wasted this health pot. I thought I'd get a little bit more poked. Oh my god. Okay, this is just tragic. Tear, I'm sorry. I am actually, <laughs> even I did not think that would go that way. That's actually, that's so unfortunate for him, dude. We got like the exact clear diff. Um, All from him. You remember when he poked me? He shouldn't have done that. <laughs> You guys remember when he poked me, didn't clear so much with one of those cleaves? That is exactly what went wrong. And we are aiming, we are aiming for another solo gap that will give us another F6. And if we get another F6, I'm, this is just the video. <laughs> the video is unbelievably scuffed and it's unbelievably scuffed. It's like, it's better than nothing, right? Yesterday I felt bad. Yesterday I didn't get a video up. Cause, uh, cause it's kind of a mixture of things. I switched up my sleep schedule. So it was kind of like a rough day. And then I spent a stupid amount of time recording it, trying to get a good game and feeling like I wasn't getting good games. Oh my, the wiggle was so clean. <laughs> it was, it was so casual. <laughs> but, but yeah, so like today it's just like we're getting a video up. I am not having a two day gap after having, well, how long has it been? Like 12 straight days of A to Z, something like that. We are not having a two day gap. We can have a one day gap. Oh, he's really going for it. Yeah, I can't really, normally if people have like remotely decent movement, you can't really fearless from that far out. Because unless they're just straight lining, it's not going to hit. This guy should be dead here. Got to auto cancel in between. And I missed one. And yeah, that sucks. I mistimed by the tiniest little sliver, one of those auto cancels, and it literally made the difference. This guy should at least die. Oh, I didn't get the wiggle. That's too bad. I thought I might be able to bait him into dashing and turn, but we didn't quite get it. But that's okay. We get a kill in solo. We get a kill as we die to gank. We get Susano blink. 
We buy a very oddly specific multi-pot for some reason. Don't really know why I bought this. Probably not important. Yeah, let me call that out. Not that it probably matters much. Actually, it might matter a lot. I don't know. I don't know how often people give a shit when Blink goes down. Stuff like beads actually matters. I feel like Blink, at least in casuals and stuff, is pretty rare that it's a call that means anything. Because normally people just play how they play and they forget that Blink exists. <laughs> I feel like they almost, they, they very rarely like play around it, right? All right, we'll grab that. We'll try, probably try and back pretty soon so I can actually get the Book of Thoth stacking. That'll be good. It looks like we do probably get a bully tier for now. I'm assuming this is going to be a Genji's, which is what I was fearing against the Guan. And uh, it should make him a little bit gross once he actually finishes that. Wish I had my three any sooner. He probably could have knocked him into tower. So I have a fat level gap right here, so I want to fight this. Oh, my ult didn't go off. I was going to ult through the Fearless. Should be a kill. So greedy, man. Like, he's still he's still trying to bully and just play tier and, and do tier things. But tier doesn't really get to do tier things as well when he's two levels down and, and doesn't have an ultimate, right? That's normally enough of a difference. All right, Susano's over in left jungle, so we're kind of chilling. I'll grab my wave real quick before we head back to base. It looks like uh, three to four. It's looking promising, man. Maybe we actually had a proper game this time around. And then we get the Hebo late game and they get pissed and then they still have six. Really might happen. We'll have to see. Susano is going to be kind of scary. I think as long as I don't screw it up and I actually have ultimate whenever we're fighting him, I should just be able to one shot him because he doesn't get to go Aegis. He's going blink beads, right? Like every game ever, he should be going blink beads. Um, at least, you know, since he already has the blink, like it'd be weird as hell if he went blink Aegis. So I should be able to delete his face, which means if I have the stuff up for it, we're just we're going to hit him even harder than he's going to hit me normally in the late game. Or maybe not harder, but faster. So, shouldn't really be able to deal with that. Should be good. Oh, you think you get this, huh? Maybe, you know what, maybe you do get this. I don't really want to die to Susano gank. Yeah, do your thing. What you got? Okay, so he's still just on the tier 2, which actually shouldn't be that bad. It makes him tanky, but he doesn't get, like, the big cooldown boost yet. This poor tier, man. He did just get ult, so I'll be a little bit more chill. Yeah, and we'll try not to die to Susato Gig. Like, if I ulted in right there, I probably get farmed, and then I probably still don't kill him. Oh, it could have been bad. Go we'll get our stuff. I'm actually loving this build. This build is... This is what I've been missing, man. A to Z has been really good. Uh, I, I think it's actually been really good to get so much the A to Z out and, and kind of get into a good routine with it. But doing this sort of, like, not even cheese, but just mixing it up a little bit. Hebo's not a pick that you normally see solo. Um... He's, he's a fun god, at least in my opinion. Maybe not fun to play against, but I think he's fun to play. And vamp is an item that basically doesn't get bought, and it shouldn't. So, like, this is actually a specific spot where we get to build something weird, a little, little quirky, right? And it's actually worth it. Oh, do we get a... Oh, I get to do some things to him. Tear, I am sorry, man. I gotta wait for a Wheelix, though. Okay, I goofed that, but it's fine. <laughs> I, goofed, I goofed that so hard. But luckily she can land her knockup. That was so troll by me, man. Yeah, specifically waited to make sure that she was absolutely in range for us to three. And then, you know, then she just gets to ult off my three because that's how a Wheelix works. And then I almost ruined everything. That's fine. Oh, I'm having trouble, huh? The Maui popping off. 2-0 Maui sup. Not what we like to see. Never want to see the Maui fed, man. Maui's terrifying. I mean, mistakes. All right, I think we just back. Like, I have no camps to do. I can rotate mid. We don't have an ult. He's dead anyways. Why would I rotate? A Wheelix just gaming. Yeah, let's do this. Probably don't need a Hell Chalice to be okay. Yeah, see, this is this is what I've been needing in my life. is a properly long game. Yeah, man got Genji's done. So he gets a bunch of cooldown. He gets big cooldown resets as well. Depending on how we proc this, this isn't always that big of a deal on tier. A lot of other characters, it's actually better to go Genji's on than tier because it's going to be resetting cooldowns in a stance that he's probably used the cooldowns in. And then, like, he just has the cooldowns ready for his other stance, so the reset doesn't matter much. Is going to tend to be how it goes. So, unlike, like, specifically Guan, like, a lot of time maybe we're hitting Guan where, like, he's already... Dude, Totem... Okay, if they if they don't take Totem out entirely in Season 10, can we finally get that fixed? Because I should have done half its HP and it registered none of it. It's so stupid, man. It's so dumb. 
I actually, I honestly do hope they remove Totem in Season 10. It looks like the little glimpses I've seen um, from, from the teaser they just put up. I'm assuming it's going to be a fairly different map. Not only a different map, but like decent, decent mix up to, to Season 8, 9 map. So hopefully Totem will go and Obelisk will go. Not that I have issues with them, but just, just so that it's spicier, you know, just that we're not relying on these old kind of like more recent staples. Okay, so he's actually going to get Genji's value here, right? Isn't this the first time I was hitting him? Although he kind of trolled his switch stance. Okay, let me not get murdered by Susano. Just kidding. He's left. And then let me murder Tyr. Let's do both. Wait, where did you... He doesn't have a blue to do, right? He's just doing... Just healing off camp? I think he's just healing off camp. Come on. What we doing, Tyr? Man! Oh. Oh, tower! <laughs> That's so far by tower right there, man. Alright, we got some decent damage. I can't kill him, though. And I want to kill him so bad. Let me get this timer. Yeah, I want to rotate over to the other side of the map, but they're literally fighting in left jungle and left lane for almost everything, so we're not going to get there anytime soon. Otherwise, I think I'd be feeling it, going for those early Hebo ganks. All right, probably just bank. I don't know when his blue comes up, so we're not going to worry about it. Be like this or something. So, so yeah, we'll get the bank cross going. I do think we'll actually go the poly next, probably. Maybe. Do we? I don't know. Maybe I just need... Yeah, he's always oh, going fizzy. Okay, okay. So looking a little more promising than the Guan game, where he instantly went unbelievably cringe, double magic defense, build as tanky as he possibly can. This one, I actually get to do damage because he has Genji's and Genji's makes him tanky and like it makes sense it'll build Genji's. But then that's it, at least for now, right? Not the absurd double stacking, get farmed by gank build. Eh, come on. Actually, I should probably slap the shit out of him right now, especially if we get low. Yeah, that's actually like, that is not bad. What the, he's crazy. <laughs> that was actually a good play. <laughs> so aggro, man. That was a really clean play, honestly. He gets just out of range, so I can't hit him back. He just gets some free poke. I got Bancross now, so I kind of heal up from the poke, but still. Nice. I'm just going to do this because I can. Get back here. I'm just trying to farm damage. I'm not trying to quite kill. It's like we can't. We can't one-shot him. Nice. Hang on, tower, don't do it. Oh, give me that. You weren't ready for this, were ya? Oh, I goofed. I goofed. Damn it, man. I mean, I maybe couldn't have killed him anyways, but I would have tried. Yeah, Susano is just not even bothered with his lane. He's not having it one bit, is he? I say as he invades. <laughs> I don't know if I get to punish him for this. He's going to have so much mobility. And I don't have ult, but I'm assuming he doesn't have ult. On my way. Oh my. Okay, well, hitting that would have been good. Okay, we wouldn't have quite killed him at least. It always makes me feel better, man. When it wouldn't actually be a kill, so the drop doesn't really matter that much. It's so much nicer, right? Because even if I hit it, then like we still aren't going to be able to land Mulan stuff. And then I still couldn't have hit him any more than just that. And he still has HP. Yeah, what do we build here? Do I save up for the poly? I think I'm just going to save up for the poly. I'm kind of worried. I think realistically Soul Gem might be absolutely way better and it's not even close. But I just, I really want to build poly. It's probably kind of dumb. But I thought it'd be fun. Because it is a little bit less nonsense for the uh, for the sacrificial, right? Like I'm assuming, I don't know why sacrificial would po possibly proc on our uh, our poly damage or anything. I think we'll just sell these wards, man. Let me get my poly done. Get my poly done. Get my blink done. I probably go Aegis this game. It's nowhere near as exciting. I should probably go Aegis. Susano is gonna obliterate my face. It'll be so good. Nice. Get that juicy cleanup. 
So he's got Breastplate done, he's got a billion cooldown. But I think if he'll actually fight at all, the Poly is going to still slap, I think. Even even against a man with Genji's, I think it'll put in some work. Enemy missing right. He's probably just on buff, yeah. A tier. Hang on, let me test it, man. Damn it. I need to test my Poly. The world needs to know. Oh, we even worded this. <laughs> I really need to start rotating soon. Oh, and he's pushing up? Do I get my moment? Do I? No. No, I don't. It's so hard to catch him ever. <laughs> oh my god, he is just running for his life. When was the last time you saw a tear running for their life and land? Feel like it doesn't happen much. Normally, the worst you get is tier is the uh the crippled for life in lane. God, that sounded so much darker than I meant it. <laughs> It's like an RDO lane where you don't get a fearless and you're just sad. I guess that's kind of similar though, isn't it? Get the poly in! Ooh! Get him! No suck for that? I was so out of position, man. I am here baiting my face and nobody's taking the bait. Alright, tier might actually rotate. Eh! Yeah, we'll just grab like another wave and back. And yeah, you know what could be real spicy? Beads upgrade for double one? I'm probably not going to do it. It probably won't be worth. Part of what the poly does is kind of make up for that. All right, we are going to actually go claw though, because I already have 500 power. Because I'm doing Hebo things. You know what? I'm going to... Ooh, this game, I'm not playing around, boys. Sentry Ward. 14 minutes in. Yeah. Surely I'm going to place it somewhere and not hold it in my inventory until like 30 minutes. I'm sure that I'll actually put it down in a good spot. Wait, maybe? Maybe? Hang on. No way he goes for this, right? Oh, he does. Oh, he does. I kind of want to hunt. What are the odds that I get to? Come on, please. No. Oh, I potatoed that. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of trolling myself. Yeah, I really hope that, uh, that like smalls slash minis would be up and that he'd actually go to him and get, and get all greedy. And of course they weren't, so why would he bother? God, I heal so much, man. How much does the claw do? I don't remember what the scaling is on this anymore. Half percent per 75. We're a little over... Uh, five stacks. Not that much. Oh, Merlin, he's goofing. I'm trying to not ult. There we go. We get the poly. Yeah, I'm probably do a little mid push, a little pyro. Got that. Oh, I love poly, man. It's so much fun on Hebo, too, because in a way, it's not that good on Hebo, and in a way, it's god tier on Hebo. You can just pop it so often and get it in between your ones, but you lose so much mobility trying to auto attack and not just zoom around on carpet all the time. Oh, I'm coming. I think if I actually land a three, we get a Wheelix ult for it. Wait, did you try an ult? <laughs> what was that, man? She tried to ult tier, tier ult as if that's a thing you can do. I swear, I'm pretty sure. I am 99% sure I just heard that. <laughs> yeah, I guess that confirms it. Yeah, that was, uh... <laughs> That's maybe not it. Now, what do I build here? This is kind of the core of stuff I want to do. I think I'm forgetting things. Mirrodin could be okay. So maybe we'll just go Mirrodin. It could be okay. I don't think I'm going to bother with Book of the Dead. Um, On my way. yeah, and then I think we're just not going to have that much cooldown and I'll just be content with it. Although if we have upgraded blue, we'll still have plenty. I think going like Mirrodin, maybe, I mean, I probably desperately need pen. Maybe get greedy as hell and go a soul gem. And tell me we get the poly gap. I was about to ult that. There we go. Poly gap. 
The poly gap. I don't care if this hits. It hit. <laughs> yeah, if it didn't hit, we should have been able to kill him anyways, so. Kind of ulted for distance. And what's he building? Oh, damn it, Terry. See, he got too disrespectful. I was so hopeful that he was building, like, at least something hybrid. And I could be like, see, he's still tanky. We just do a billion damage. But no, he got greedy. And kind of got him killed. Alright, we're rotating this, though. I also don't know how worth Mirrodin will actually be for the uh, the passive. At least statistically, it'll be good. And then hopefully we'll get to use the passive. Oh, this might just be a free kill. Where's he going? Are you... Get back here. Here. I had so much hope. Oh, hi. That came out so weird. Are you doing purple buff while your Maui dies? What the hell was that? Have one of those. Oh my god, could this be for me? It's probably stupid, right? I should just do... I should probably do blue buff. I think I'm actually trolling myself if I take red buff. It's so nice getting 20% cooldown, man. And it's gonna say upgraded, too. Oh god, there was a change that they teased. So, so one thing... Naturally, the only thing specific I'll bring up is going to be the thing that scares me about upcoming Season 10 that they teased. Is they teased having statistic changes to classes, and I'm worried about it. Where it sounds like they want to make every class have an inherent buff. Like, like kind of like if they permanently had a type of jungle buff. Now, not that it would interfere with the others, but it'd just be something like that. So kind of like getting an inherent blue buff on warriors, an inherent red buff on mages, stuff like that. Um... I'm really scared for that change being any good. I really doubt it's not just terrible. It's the one thing that stood out to me so much, man. Like, there's a bunch of cool stuff they teased, and I'm sure there's a, like, ton to be revealed still. But <laughs> but that one, that one was like, oh my god, this seems like the most just like, how can we balance this shit for absolute noobs that I've seen in a while? Like, why would they not just lower the cooldowns of the Warriors instead of give them a CDR buff? Why would they, you know, like, why can't they just make... Why do we need these weird global changes? Why can't we just balance the class forehead, you know? Like, it's so much less clean that way. If you're specifically like, we want we want Warriors to have lower cooldown, just fucking lower their cooldowns. <laughs> like, please. I don't know, it might not be that big of a thing. And, and maybe I don't know anything. I mean, they specifically, I believe, were teasing this all for Conquest. Maybe it's somehow not in Conquest, and I don't give a shit if it's not in Conquest. I'm a little scared for that, man. We'll see what happens. Ooh, that's how that works, huh? Oh my god, he's getting bullied. The hell out of here, Merlin. I can't tell when this thing lands. It's getting skin gapped. No, you don't get to go this way. <laughs> God, I really hope, I hope we can get Sacrificial done soon. Especially if we get a little bit more money, I can get Mirrodin and Sacrificial, and then I'll just be dead. No, get off her. Give me that Polly. Oh, you think you're going to do that? You think I don't just murder your face? See, remember when I was like, I think we can deal with the Susano? I think that we can deal with the Susano. Oh my god, not like this, Medusa. Okay, that was a little bit dirty. That was... <laughs> that was a little bit dirty. Oh my god, man. And you know what we hit this with? Boom. Holy. Yeah, at least we got a proper Hebo game in. Oh my god. So disgusting. Poor Susano tried to ever hit a Hebo. Tried to ever actually just get up there, do Susano things to him. It doesn't really get to. No Aegis means I just one-shot him first. Like, very specifically what I was saying earlier on. It's like, we should get to a point where Susano's gonna be trying to kill me, and I should just be able to do it faster. That's what I mean. A lot of it comes down to we get the CC mune as we cast our ult. So even if he ults me, as long as it's like, as long as he doesn't somehow charge up ult for knockup before I ult, and then make me pre-beads, then we just get to do that. By the way, it's a little dumb on my part. I should not be here. Almost, almost inting after making big play. Yeah, so what did Sacrificial do to me? How much HP do we lose right now? A ton? Ow! Okay, if we actually land our stuff, it looks like we heal it back. 
But we should be losing about 100 HP. That was big damage. I just don't want to end. Um, we should be losing about 100 HP per ability cast. At least if it's a damaging ability, we'll get around the same healing. Although probably not if we're anti-healed. It's poor Maui. <laughs> what? Medusa, stop. Polly. Fuck. Hang on. Three. Fuck. There we go. Is the man just dead? <laughs> I did not think we still had the poly on that. I was just trying to actually contribute. God, poly lasts so long. I can't believe I had not owed yet. Alright, well, at least that one was fair. That one, she just thought she'd knock him up. Not anywhere near as derpy. Wait, why aren't we pushing this? Yeah, get a phoenix. Look at these archers go. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> that man has defense. <laughs> oh my god. That's so gross. Oh, he's baiting. And kind of, kind of inting. <laughs> I love Polly so much. So much fun right now. Oh, whoops. That was, that was a big whiff on my part. I should have hit Susano there and we could have killed him off of it. See you around. I really want Medusa to end. I don't think I should try this. It's so greedy. If I catch her, if I like turn on her while she runs at me and we three ult, I'm pretty sure I legit one shot her. Oh, and that was, she didn't fall for the bait. Could have been such a good bait. Yeah, do I need Pen? Like he's, he's tankier and we still dumpster him. So I think I might just not care. What am I hearing? Am I about to get one shot? I think Susano's over here. I might actually play a little bit chill. Oh, maybe I don't need to. We heal so much. Maybe we're good. Oh my god. Yeah, so Soul Gem could be good for getting a little bit of HP back. What else would I go? Other than just Pen. I really don't care about Pen this game. I think we're just going Soul Gem. Like, am I missing anything? I mean, Typhons could be okay, but we don't have money for it. Whatever, let's do this. Yeah, we'll get a little extra extra health sustain that way, which will be nice. Should should kind of make up for Sacrificial. Plus, we'll just proc it a lot because we're dumping abilities a lot. Wait, can you hypothetically... Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you could hypothetically not get a Soul Gem proc off Hebo 2. Because I think the way it works is you have to hit an ally with it, including yourself, but I think it automatically hits you. Ooh, more, more. Yeah, I think we do enough. <laughs> I think we do enough to Maui. The red pot's finally about to wear off. Hey, dear. Somebody else, I'm not a tanky boy. I literally kill myself on this build. Like, I'm not tanking. Somebody else can do that. Yeah, I am sacrificing HP for polyprox right now. My poor health bar, man. Yeah, I really want to int this fight, but maybe I shouldn't. Oh, I want to so bad. Somebody tank for Papa. Somebody get in there. <laughs> I know we don't have a tank for this, but I'm not taking. Nice. It's fine. God, I want to ult him so bad. <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> if anybody opened that door, I was ulting. I was just straight up going to ult in. Anybody push up? I don't think so. I gotta remember to two less now, because we lose HP for it. Uh oh. Well, maybe now we'll do it. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's enough. Now, if I can go get blue buff right now, we get full cooldown. Which could probably be pretty good.
So I don't remember, have I bought another sentry? Or is this like straight up, you know, three minutes away from being exactly what I predicted where I just didn't place it ever? <laughs> Cause what was the point? We're just fragging any, oh, stack for me. Can you not? Good Maui ult, but please don't do it again. It's poor Susano, man. Are you kidding? He just blinked through? Please, my... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was trying to get that thing off. Are you kidding me? Okay, I need to not die. So, this doesn't kill me, right? Science. Okay. <laughs> Pretty sure it specifically says it's been forever since I bought it. I'm pretty sure it says if it would kill you, it just doesn't do the damage. I could be misremembering that. I figured right there we might get a little peek. Yeah, Susana's starting to dumpster our team a bit right now. It really sucks I couldn't get to him there. I mean, I was going to, and then I got Maui ulted off. So, almost a game winning fight. I gotta be really careful. We don't have Aegis right now or ult. So hypothetically, if we get 1v1, I'm pretty sure he just kills me and there's almost nothing I get to do about it. I think the only way we win is if my one and my three and my poly all land and they're all just enough damage to kill him. Which I don't know if that's a thing or not. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Well, he's one HP. That's fine. I got around the wall. This should be okay. That's too bad. Yeah, if my thing went off. He was uh, he was in a lot of trouble there. Not if it went off. If that, if I landed it, I thought he'd be where it was. Okay, don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't matter. Mulan did scepter just now. When it's thirty minutes in. And we have no vision on FG and we're not grouped. So <laughs> that was maybe a little bit questionable, man. Luckily, they didn't try anything. They absolutely, if they just grouped and did FG, there was no chance we could have defended it. But we're a little lucky. Oh, God, he's putting in so much work right now. And he keeps getting out one HP. Right nice, at least they got her back. At least we got a one for one. Oh? There we go. I just wanted to be dead. Make sure that we hit him while he's CC'd. What? Were you going to kill him? My bad. I didn't know. I don't know what you got. Okay, we probably get murdered by Susano if I overextend, so I got to play really careful. Tell me we got to do this to him. <laughs> don't do it to me. Poor guy, man. Hang on, I'm trying. Give me a Maui. Give me a tear. Oh my god. I don't know if we can even do FG. Yeah, hopefully we can just group. Oh, this might go terrible. I am literally... What? Okay, fire that was uncalled for. Why did it hit me so much right there? I can't believe I almost died to that. Especially like I saw it doing damage and I specifically didn't Aegis because it looked like it would stop doing damage. And then it kept doing it after it looked like it was done. <laughs> like multiple times, man. Oh my God, that could have been so bad. Why are we backing now? There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Now, like me and Scylla had to back because we're one HP. <laughs> Mulan did minis and started it. That would have been so sad. What about our tank? Okay, this definitely can go wrong. I'm gonna try and at least hold our three as long as I can. Okay, should just be dead. Yeah. Yeah, so Mulan dies for ADC. That's pretty worth. And for EFG. Oh, I'm getting greedy. Oh, I'm getting greedy. Let me do it. Let me do it. Up, Please, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody ever is splitting off so hard. I want to win the game. I want to win the game and watch Worlds. And they're inting. Oh my. Please. I have things to do. Yeah, like I know we don't have tanks, but we can just delete Phoenixes in like three autos. Because if Hebo can do a big part of the work, then I think Heim can do a little bit of his own. Yeah, Polly this thing down with me, Scylla. Hell yeah. I'm assuming she has that, right? Oh, wait. No Polly on Scylla. That is not cultured. She's not cheesing? I mean, he was feeling that. What <laughs> so is Tear? That was Tear a little bit. All right, I'm a chill. Eh, I'm a chill a little bit. I'll, I'll get what I can, you know. Wonder if I can catch anybody right here. Oh God, I want to. Yeah, like, I can get poke. It's so hard to commit and for it to not be terrible. What the? Maui, what was that, you crazy man? Well, I whiffed, but it's fine. Big damage. Oh, he's so low. Hey, he gets put in work. Kind of crazy we get to live there. Are you kidding? I want to hit the Medusa. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I did not think she'd pad that way, man. Because Heim was over there, but I guess he like, I guess he moved far enough that she could. That sucks. I thought she'd be around the wall and we could just gank. Oh my God. Oh my god, man. Like, we are 4v2, and they are banking for HP. And it, they don't need it. Just push an objective ever, man. Oh my god. Like, I'm down to frag. But, you know, when they're dead, maybe we actually do an objective after. And we don't just wait for them to respawn and then run at them again. Just maybe. Yeah, I mean, now they don't do it. They needed to do it before Heim ran all the way over. Yeah, honestly, I feel like I normally wouldn't actually care that much. Because I just want to fight people. Like, that's fun, right? But I actually... You want to watch Worlds. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, they're going to end... I don't, <laughs> they need to go in while they're all dead, not when I'm not there and they're up. Legit, like, I swear to God, man, we are picking the worst possible ways to play any objective. Which is, like, not when we have advantage and then push it when we don't. And oh my god, this thing does so much work to me when we have Sacrificial. I don't know how to, like, heal off camps right now, can I? Man, I want my I want my buff. Yeah, I can't really heal all the way. That's too bad. Maybe small camps will do it. Oh, they did! Look at that. Alright, I'll try and not get murdered. Hopefully we can wait him out a little bit. It's kind of crazy how good the Aegis is into Susano in this matchup. It's like so specific. Where I can, I mean, in general, Aegis is disgusting in Susano, but I can Aegis so much, and then the moment it's over, he's normally like, he's normally gonna be terrified because the income, incoming a thousand damage plus like eight hundred poly, it gets so ridiculous once it's over. Exploding Aegis, but it actually one shots. Try and not get blinked on. Yeah, Mulan does not care at all. Yeah, so Pen would be good for that. The hell? What did I just hear, man? I thought I heard a Wheelix ult, but that wasn't it. 
Oh, I was hoping. Okay, that was that was a little much, Scylla. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we're kind of wasting ults right now. Yeah, I got big damage. I guess he didn't see me. I thought he would know. You should probably stop Please! I reached you, I could. Oh? That was a big knockup. Yeah, it sucks. We keep losing our tank over and over and over again. So, since I'm squishy, we don't have another tank, and that means we don't really get to push that well. Like, somebody just has to, like, man up and tank that shit. It's absolutely not going to be me because I need to not be dead. Okay. But I think this will finally be it. We got a 4v3. Might as well hit this real quick. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I thought there'd be more minions. Just get in there. B tank. Because we should actually have so much damage that, uh, I mean, like we can wait for minions a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, it should be. She took like two shots. <laughs> so we just dumpster the Phoenix. What? Can you not? Excuse me. Oh, that was not a good ult. What the? That was so close. How did he not die for that, man? He entered so hard. I'm hoping he dumped relics. Damn, left the left the side up for him. That's just rude. How do we go 10 minute game, 5 minute game, 40 plus minute game? Alright. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can make this the final push. I can't remember, I think a long time ago. I already thought that we might have final push, and I think that was 10 minutes ago. Maybe this time we can actually do it. Teams teams in it this time? Teams actually trying to push objectives? We've been getting enough done in fights for, for forever right now, though. It's really just about actually getting Phoenixes done, and probably actually keeping Mulan alive. Because Mulan keeps just eating so much of their damage, they end up focusing it on her too much because she's up front. And it doesn't really mean that much. It means there's more cooldowns down for me to actually be able to do stuff and like a Wheelix to do stuff. Eh. I probably got to try. I'm assuming if we finally get like huge Maui ulted towards Phoenix, I, I probably got to be really ready on the beads. Yeah, get in there. Okay, we're good. Yeah, it's so wiggleable. I don't know why I said it like that, but <laughs> it's so easy to uh to juke around it when we got the Hebo carpet. Oh no. Oh we're fine. Yeah, we might just have to reset. Oh, it doesn't reach either. I'm waiting for I saw Susano around here. Oh, I goofed that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to bait so hard. There we go. <laughs> I love Hebo, man. Hebo is so much fun. Oh, Merlin backed. Oh, I thought he would just be lurking really hard. Hey, look at the damage. Oh, stupid bug. Yeah, poor Susano. He's actually done a really good job of pathing and stuff. It's just the rest of the team doesn't quite go hard enough normally for me to worry about it that much. Um, or for, to worry about them that much. Yeah, it's a little dumb what I gotta do. It's, it's a little much. Tell me we heal. Oh, we heal. Oh, we heal. Oh, we heal. <laughs> so 
Once we saw this about to spawn. Yeah, I gotta not die to the minions, so I gotta heal a little baby bit. Yeah, he's about to spawn. I can't really push this. If I do, I think I end up... Huh? I can do that. God, does he let me do it? I'm sacrificing. Oh my god, he let me do it. Oh! And if he tries, I might get a one-shot him. Oh, Heim, please stay here. Oh, he's scaring me. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> this build is sick, man. It's been too long since we did some, some good cheesy builds. It really has. This is so disgusting. Like, part of it's just Hebo being Hebo, but getting, obviously, 15% bonus damage on our abilities is, is standing out a little bit, right? On a full late game build, too. I mean, that ult on Susano early on last fight, I'm pretty sure, I don't know what Soul Gem's doing right now. Okay. Our ult, I'm pretty sure, did 1600 on its own. So Soul Gem should practically one-shot him. Alright, hopefully we can actually uh, get grouped in. Oh. That's not grouped. I don't think anyone's surprised. That's not grouped. That's actually this game is so long, man. And it really doesn't need to be. Like, how much do I gotta do? It's gonna be so hard to actually get in here. I don't think I get to. As tempting as it is, I, I think I straight up have to in, and that's just not gonna be worth it. And we're getting some damage off. That's something. Okay, you think he'll goof? I want to pick somebody right here. I don't know if they'll push up here. Yeah, I don't think they're going to bother. Whatever. Okay, okay. If, if I farm super... How hard do I have to farm to get double elixir? Maybe that's the difference maker. I just need a defense elixir with my damage elixir. This is really greedy. I kind of want to go for it, but it could go so terribly wrong. So close. I don't want to ult for that because then I die. Did my one just not even hit? I nearly one shot her with three in poly. <laughs> that's how close that was. Maybe, maybe a high mono hit. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, I couldn't even get the one off in time. Or maybe it was like, maybe it knocked her the tiniest bit out of range, I don't know. Alright, we got a back for new 3k pot, matters a lot. So I really want to know, this has to be a 100k damage smite game. Surely, right? Am I, am I thinking too much? It, it's long? And we have been absolutely dumping damage in these fights. I bet it's a 100k damage game. But maybe not. Because I feel like I'm practically pentakilling every fight. And then, <laughs> and then normally that would mean, what, like 15k or something? Probably not quite that much, but like a lot of damage at least. That's just the health bars too, not even what they heal up. Wait. I don't know if he should have done that. Gotta try and not get Maui ulted. Mulan went in a little early there. Because it's like specifically when we need to not go in. <laughs> Poor Susano. Really just wants to get a pick. And I'm not having it. Oh no, that's actually bad. Oh no, it's so bad. Okay, I lived. That's good. That sucks. At first, I uh, I heard the Maui ult, and I didn't think it'd go where it was. I wasn't worried about beating it. I didn't think we'd get hit. I think that'll do it. I don't know how you defend this. They're all alive. I don't have ult yet. I think they just win. That's too bad, man. Yeah, our team went in too early there. We'd already gotten a little punished, and Mulan tried to go in before we could. Little poke. Yeah, any bit of stall that I can do? 
would be good. The poly helps. Actually, the poly helps a ton. But I'm dead. Wait, he fearless me towards base? <laughs> I almost... <laughs> <laughs> he almost threw that so hard, man. That's crazy that we don't win that game. I don't know what I gotta do to win this game. That was so ridiculous. I was even making calls for us to win the game, and like people just wouldn't follow the calls. Even though 23-3 or 23-3 Hebo. Yeah. That's too bad, man. We should have won that like legit 20 minutes ago, but but it's okay. At least we gotta do some dumb late game things. I gotta peep the damage though. How much? How much did I do? Not quite. I was I was too hopeful. Only 85k. Not not the juicy 100k that I so desperately wanted. I'm actually surprised it was only 85k. I think it's because so often we did have to worry about the tanks. We were just getting bits of poke out. And then um like not every fight was like murder everybody. It's just some of the fights got to a point where we literally had to start murdering everybody or they just win is I think the main thing. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. Sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down